Hi and welcome back to another Best of Times Reborn YouTube video. I'm your host Brad. Welcome. Let's have a look. It is 7.44 a.m. on Friday, April the 5th, 2024. It is 24, uh, 25.0 degrees Celsius. Feels like 29.1. 94% humidity. So we're showing the Johnston River when we're going over the Geraldton Bridge. Supposed to be starting their works again on here as of this Monday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. will be all jackhammering and different things like that. And then they'll go till 6 a.m. Going by the council Facebook page and website. What says it? Oh, well, there's glass on the footpath here. I'll show what it's like. Along here. The only thing they really did last time that I noticed when I was getting video when they were doing this last time around was cleaning. And not the main part of the bridge, more the walkways, the railing on both both sides. Like over here. No. And over here. So and then the ground here, but not on here, not on the road surface. No. The, this time around they're supposed to be jackhammering a bit and changing these parts here like replacing the joints that's what they said on the Facebook page now if you if you hear this um thing saying the distance and all that I've done that's from home that gives you an idea of how far I've had to walk and to get to this particular location when it says it so the plan is to walk out to Slimefish Point depending on the weather if it starts raining then I might head back but we'll see. Coconuts, Flankish Point, those sort of places. And I'll show you a way that I go that's a bit safer to walk than going directly on Flankish Point Road the whole time. Because on Flankish Point Road, there's not many places where you can walk safely or ride a bike safely or scooter or anything like that. Because where the white lines are on the edge of the road, there's not much room between that and a big drop off gutter gully sort of area so it's not very safe so i cut off the first part and we'll show where that is when i get to it and that where those parts are where it's just horrible i've been mentioning on the council stuff for the last few years and on my videos about the whole needing to put a footpath all the way along out to out to the coconuts because there's a footpath from the coconuts to flying fish it's not a great one once you get past the coconuts where that bridge is in between flying fish and the coconuts that's pretty horrible there it's on a weird angle for drainage because of the um the tide and that i get it but you need one all the way out there it would be a lot safer for pedestrians for cyclists and all that have railing all the way out like this would be awesome if they could do that on the road side if they could do it on both sides that'd be great and make room all the way out would be great on the on the inner South state high school side would be the best would be the ultimate that's freeman street across there just to give you context to where this is the old tape shop up here, what people used to call that. Used to be owned and run by Lionel and his workers. There's been a few different backpackers and that since then. The accommodation centre, basically. Yeah, what well, used to be known as that. So, yeah, it's old house. I know Edward and Hickerton Builders had this house at one stage. I don't know the history of this house, who originally had it when it was built. Was it here back in the day when the ferry used to go across the ferry? And that, was it there? 
don't know. If anyone knows, let me know. If they have really old photos of it, that'd be great. I think one day it'll just get knocked down because it's you know, quite old, not looked after. Now, this is the old accommodation centre shop and accommodation centre. It's called Crew House now, Crew House in its bath. Backpackers and that. Oh. There's plovers coming across. This is to my right is Flankers Point Road. To my left is the old accommodation centre. And you got the Johnson River Community Garden signage just here to turn left. Which I've been given permission to get video there now. One of the main people that run it said I could. I'd like to actually do a video if he was watching this. I'd love to do a video one day when it's sunny that um, he could actually narrate the video, like show me around, talk about it, give some history and all that. That would be awesome. So there's the digital signage for the Innisfil State College. It used to be the Johnson College of TAFE. I'll just show the sign for a bit. If it's flickering, it's not flickering in person. It's just the way the camera can handle it. This is what they used to call the TAFE Oval. Everyone was well known as the TAFE Oval back in the day. There's a post box there. We'll just show that for, for history. These videos are for history to show what it was like around. Try and show as much detail as possible. And that, that's always great. There's your Bergen Road, Tierney Street, Flyfish Point Road signage. We'll continue along our merry way. If they had a footpath like this all the way out to Flying Point this size, so the people on push bikes could overtake people walking in that, that'd be great. One other place I'd love to see a path. Well, I'd love to see one from near the Puma service station at Gundy, all the way up to Belvedere. That would be awesome to see a footpath all the way up there. Slash bike path. And then one from River Avenue out to Wangan would be awesome. And one from Wangan to South Johnson. I mean, it's never going to happen, but it's something that I would really like. So. It's a roundabout that used to have really nice flowers and stuff in it when they first put it there few years till people ruined it and then they just gave up on it it's just grass there's cameras on there though there's, there is security cameras traffic cameras and all that anyway we'll continue on our walk continue on our merry way out here and that so it says coconuts five kilometers five fish point seven and the signage to my right I would have shown, but traffic going past. So we need to see more street. Jordan Gardens across there. I don't know if they're still called that, but it was Jordan Gardens for years. There's a lot of um, residential units and townhouses and that. you on don't know if my plans will work coming out here but if they do well I'll be happy otherwise I'll just wait around do a bit of video out there and come home if it doesn't work out let's see more street over there the Innisfil State College over there parts of it in cyclone shelter a bigger covered multi-purpose area is the uh, thing as well. Like I said, it's the uh, air cyclone shelter. I've never been in it, but I've seen photos on the inside. It's got the basketball court and all that. Now the PCYC doesn't have its basketball court. All the basketball competitions and stuff are held over here. There's Dalton Close over here. But that car's going past me right now. Yeah, Dalton Close. Just to show that we're in line 
Nearly in line with that, just to give you a bit of an idea of where we are. So I'm not going to keep going past the old Agley farm and out, out. I turn off. So it's just, it's not the safest to walk on this part here. Once you get off the footpath, yeah, it's not really that safe. Where I come out is near the old crocodile farm and then keep going that way along. There's your main entrance to the NSL State College. Student drop off and pick up this entrance only. It's got written on there. So you can have a look at what it's like. So people can look back years later and see how it was. Yeah, this will end up being a longer video, but worth watching. If you want to see what it's like out here and what it's like walking, you see a bit more detail when you walk too than you do when it's um when you're driving past. There's a lot of people have said to me over the years, oh, I didn't even know that business was there or this place was there or that was there. It's when you drive past, gibbets are looking straight ahead and you don't really see it. Like, oh there's a battery place next to the, next to the shell service station, people used to say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, didn't even know it was there. Yeah, that sort of thing. So, yeah, there's still have a bit of TAFE there, but I don't think there's too much. Last time I went there for the TAFE, there's only like two classes, so there's that. Road ahead in a cassowary sign. Coming up. So we go down this side street. Can't think of the name of it at the moment. On the right is the way I do it, just to cut off that corner in that sort of area where it's not safe. Yeah. You see it on the scooter videos that I do that with some of them and some of them I go straight ahead. So I thought, oh, if I go down this side street, it might be better and safer than that. So. Yeah, I don't know how you say the name of this street, but I'll read out the spelling when I get up to it. A-L-U-R-T, I think it is. There's your Fish Point Road. Yeah, A-L-U-A-R-T, there you go. A-L-U-A-R-T Road. I see these houses are being built too. That were being built last time I walked down here. Yeah, I'll try and show the street name over here. Hopefully that shows up. A-L. U A R T. Oh, get out of the way of this car. This vehicle that's coming down. Mightn't be the nicest way to walk today. We have to, um, the rain we've had in that. I usually go down, turn left at the end there, Reynolds Road, and come out, like I said, near the, uh, near the old crocodile farm. But like I normally do, we'll show straight ahead and whatever show shows because you know, people's privacy and all that. When it comes to residential areas like this, there's Collier Close coming up on my right. This house to my left, which I can't show, was up for sale last time I come along. It must have been sold or this. So I don't know to sell it, I don't know. This big drain here to my left. There's Collier Close there. I've done videos where I've walked around most of these streets, showing in detail, taxi, car three. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure the message I just got before, which I haven't checked yet, um, till I get to Reynolds Road. Um, I'm sure that will be a no, visiting a friend out at Flying Fish Point. So I've done four kilometres from home. Yeah, turn the brightness of the camera up a little bit. Cool. Coming up at Alexander Street. To my right. 
Ow. <laughs> yeah, to do have arthritis, bursitis, and fibromyalgia. And fix my shoulders, my knees. There's Alexander Street. There's your taxi. <sighs> Kenny Cass. Kenny <sighs> Cass is one of the good ones. Been around forever. The Eaton Estate, the best of in as far as it here. So it says. Sorry about if you hear my deep breathing. Nothing much I can do about it when you walk sort of this distance. It happens. Yeah, it's been here for a fair while. Some of it's old. It says, shows four blocks old. So we'll show this a little bit while we're here. So you can see. So there used to be another sign too. That's gone. Just gives you an idea what it was like here. That's the best I can show it for now. Check my phone in a few minutes once I get up to Reynolds Road. Reynolds Road's one worth going to at Christmas time. But instead of going left, go right up here. You're coming this way. And you'll see it. Just keep driving down and you'll see it. Both sides of the road had it. Like really good Christmas lights last year. You can see them on my um, Christmas lights videos that I did last year. Yeah, you can see them on that in the NFL playlist. Now I'm trying to beat all this rain. As long as I can get out there. I can catch like the one something bus, whatever it is, to come back later. So I can get the video out there. And that. Otherwise, I'll have to put the camera away and change cameras to the waterproof one. It's funny to use this one because it's A, better picture quality, and B, better battery life. There's a few houses coming up here. The new ones being built. Five Rivers building to inspire custom new build, house and land packages, and so on. That's not a, I'm not doing that for advertising, I'm showing it to show what was around and who was part of this whole thing. Yeah, some really nice houses, even to my right here, yeah, which I can't show due to you know, people's privacy and that. But I will turn back in a second show where we just came from. We've got a new house, I don't think anyone's moved into it yet. Where once just started. Yeah, they're pretty close together, these ones. Up here. Privacy, we'll look back where we just came from. Fish eye, shapes, soft drink. If you know, you know. A friend of mine don't know. Well, I was referring to then. One of those things, if you know, you know. Harmless. Just a reference two years ago. Anyway, let's continue on. So these houses. Probably by the next time I come along, they'll be finished. I think that would, some of them were just being started when I come along last time. Oh, look at my old videos and you'll see. Yeah, if you know, you know. that reference. People sitting outside. Yeah, this house has come along quite good. Even with all the rain we've had. Yeah, doing quite well. Dynamic timbers don't do that no much anymore. And it's all other than cans. Oh good um Reynolds on my left.
that might have stopped the video and replied to, to a message. This is the house and land prices over here. Starting from 399000. So you get an idea of what it was like. Local traffic only, but I'm like walking traffic, so it's all good. Might be a little slushy up here. Shouldn't be too bad. It's usually not too bad of a road, this one. I must grade it regularly. Yeah, Reynolds. Sugar cane to my right, for people who don't know, who don't live here. Because I know I do have some American viewers. Jim and I think it's Dave, both from, from Maine. David. Jim, James. Big shout out, hello. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated, thanks for the comments. And subscribing, watching videos. If you see this, if you hear me shouting you guys out, let me know in the comments that you've heard it. Yeah, this is all flood area where it floods. So you got your thing here that says how many meters and that the ruler up here, the gauge. I reckon eventually all this will become houses. You watch. 10, 15 years from now, all this will be houses. I wouldn't be surprised, even where the cane is. On my right hand side, on oh, my left hand side, sorry. There's your gauge. Goes up to a meter. All right, well, I'm gonna check my phone. I can check it on my watch, but it's harder when you're walking along to do that. When you're holding the camera with that in hand, so. Bear with me for a sec. Well, it's not a no, it's coming out to see my friend of mine. So for people who don't know it's school holidays at the moment, Easter school holidays, end of term. Don't know if it's end of semester, but end of term at least. They get two weeks these days. So we'll continue along here. I wish they'd do uh, uh, proper road all the way down. It's like, if you're coming from the other way, it's dirt. Then it's all this road, proper road. Then it's that concrete as you go over that part where the, the ruler thing is and all that, yeah. <laughs> be good if they fix it up all the way. I think a lot of sugar trucks and things come along here. So I'd probably damage this sort of road. So anyway, we'll continue along. walking slower than my normal pace. When I'm not doing videos, I walk faster. When I'm doing videos, I go a little bit slower just so that you can see a lot more detail. Of course, we'll keep the camera straight ahead when we walk past this house. Whatever you see, you see it to the side. It's on the, on the right hand side. There you go, sugar cane to the left. There you go, on both sides. We'll tilt the camera a little bit further to the left for privacy. I had permission to show all well, that's different. So we might want to see what their place look like years later. No, so just a tiny little bit of garden there. Looks really nice. And then show back across. Straighten the camera up. Sometimes it tends to tilt to a certain side. Sometimes to the left, sometimes to the right. Another house there too. There's two. So they're farmhouses. The dog, hopefully behind a fence. Yes, it is. 
Tiny little dog, but still. Some little dogs are quite fasty. Different when I used to come here, along here on the scooter. I could just zoom past. Wasn't that big of an issue. Top speed of 25 kilometers an hour. You get me past dogs and that a lot of the time. Only wild animals. Yeah, you can see there's been a fair bit of rain. You can see low lying water there. Anyway, we'll continue along. Wanted to be a depiction of how it is out here, what it's like, and um, like how long it takes. I mean, you'll hear with the, the watch how long it's taken from home. And that. Uh, so you take about half an hour off that, and you've got the distance from town to, to here or to wherever I am when it says it. Some potholes. It's back where we just came from. See how the road changes. Yeah. Dylan's coming along on a push bike. You can see the, well, I can see the tracks from it. It's not, not the worst to, to walk along here, even now, this part. That's why I do it. But you walk in the middle until a car comes along, which is very rare. Due to if an animal comes out, you've got equal opportunity to go to whatever side. Or a car. And all that. So we've been going for 27 minutes so far on the video. So next time it says the distance and all of that for the distance from home, I'll um, put the, the watch up near the microphone so you can hear a bit of it, give you an idea of the distances I walk to get these videos. There's your potholes, it's getting quite sunny. Hmm. Quite, quite sunny. Let my friend know that it's sunny, but it's all good. so far it's not too bad I did 10 kilometers for the last um, church's video or was that the it might have been the first church's video I'm not too sure that's from home and that was back into town when I stopped it because I got a taxi home after doing shopping that was the second one well, let's look back where we just came from. There's a vehicle coming, a ute. So we'll jump out of the way. Not literally jump, but yeah. Well, no Linford Christie. Oh, you can see bird prints along here. And that they'll show up on the video. There's bird prints and dog prints. Paw prints. See if, hopefully, it doesn't zoom past and. Shoot rocks up at me. Oh, you come past quite calm and nice. Didn't speed. And that, that would have been horrible. And it would have been on video. So we would have seen it. So we've got sugar cane, both sides now, left and the right. Sometimes I'll do like just highlights along if I do this walk, but I just want you to know the sort of distance and what it's like to a point. So get more of a concept of what it was like. 
to walk out here this particular day, this particular time. The wagtail up here on this pole, it's going off a Willie Wagtail, as I like to say, William Wagtail. Does it sound silly? Shoulder for a bit. But, uh, um, yeah, I'll let the strap of my bag go down. Shoulder strap. Just relax it. Do <sighs> it for about a minute and then uh, fix it back up. That's why the sound would have been a bit different. <laughs> Sec there, it's all good. It's what you get used to. Well, see the sky. There's some beautiful scenery out here, out near the sawmill, where there's a few houses. Just past there, there's some beautiful scenery. I'll try and show it. The problem with these cameras is they've only got two times zoom, and it's digital zoom, so you lose too much quality zooming in. So if you can hear my feet, shoes on the ground and that, checking along. It gives a bit of rhythm to the walking in the video. <laughs> so we're nearly back up to Flyfish Point Road, where it links up. And you get your way to Jiggly Grove, whatever they call it now. Jiggly Heights. And yeah, change names years ago. Don't know which one was the first name, which is the now. Not too sure. Okay. You usually get to see some nice birds along here, but there's not as many as there normally is. There's a lot of sparrows. A lot of sparrows. Reminds me of Gary Sparrow. If you know, you know. Yes, if you've ever seen the 90s show Good Night Sweetheart, you'd know what I'm talking about. Same guy who played Rodney Trotter on Only Fools and Horses. And he also was on New Tricks. And now he's on Frasier. He plays the worst character on the new Frasier. Yeah. I liked him on Only Fools and Horses. I liked him as Gary Sparrow on Good Night Sweetheart. New tricks, he was alright on that. My Dennis Waterman. Yeah, rest in peace, Dennis Waterman. Off Minder in New Tricks and other shows. Yeah, he sung the theme song for Minder. Old um, Dennis Waterman. He was a classic. Arthur Daly's Minder, one of his Minders. Then Ray Daly took over. Arthur's nephew. Anyway, enough about the old reference. Continue along, covered in sweat. It's a nice low lying clouds over there. I don't know if they'll show on video. Well, hopefully, you get to see the idea of like the beautiful scenery. Yeah, there's some really beautiful scenery around. Like I said before, I'll try and show what I can, but. Yeah, some of it I've taken photos of and put in other videos. You'll see it in that. You got bananas across there. That's what I was saying before, the Jubilee Heights, Jubilee Grove, whatever you want to call it now. And if you follow that around, you can get to Polly Creek. And, and a lookout that's really overgrown, which you can't really see much from. 
and then you end up out at the Bruce Highway if you keep following it, Garadunga and all that, Daraji sort of area. Yeah, if you follow that. Is it, I think it's Ghibli Road. I'll check it when I get up there. Pretty sure that is the name, but well, it is where it goes to, those places. And see if it's Ghibli Road, Ghibli Street, Reynolds Road, that we just finished on, back where we just came from. Yeah, Jubilee Road. That's what it looks like it says. Whew. So we're going to turn right here once this vehicle goes. Got through coast refrigeration and air conditioning. I'm doing a UE. We're heading back up there. Yeah, Jubilee Road. It's safer to walk on the left hand side once you get up here. Jubilee Road. Whew. Where the houses, that are the old crocodile farm up here. Just past the 80 sign. There's a bit of room to walk on this side now, but further up, I'll show you. See, along here, they could close off some of that drainage and put pipes in and make a nice footpath all the way along. It'd be great. On this side, it'd be the best because it'll link up with the State College one. Cane to my to my right. That left the old crocodile farm. Bit of a creaky pond thing there. I don't know what they're using it for now. But like I said, it was the crocodile farm, and there's the opposite side of the road. Bit of a swampy sort of area. Okay. Continue along. Do what we can. Probably get plovered. And such. Yeah, we won't show too much of this where the old croc farm used to be. Because it's private property and all that now. But that's where the entrance was over there, where the ute is. And those trucks, a couple of utes and that, three utes, yeah. So we'll just show straight ahead again, like normal. Yeah, the best part of the walk, or the safest part of the walk, is once you get to the coconuts. So it just past the bridge, no way out there, on this side where you can get off the road completely. Probably gonna get sweet by the plovers. That's one thing you gotta watch out for around. And then sometimes a dog comes out up around the corner where the sawmill sign and that is. Yeah. Yeah, if you look up top of these, that fence and all that, and you see across that beautiful scenery. It's amazing. I'll try and zoom in. It's a quality change as well. How much I can do. It will change, it won't be as good as what I see. There's cows, rolling hills, nice trees. Hopefully it's showing up. Usually in editing, you, I see a lot better than what I'm seeing on the little screen. I get a bit, a bit brighter yeah. in the final result. I try to keep it as natural, the video is as what I'm seeing in person, because it's for history, it's not just highlights, it's showing as it was. So if you were walking along here at this particular time, on this particular day, this is what you're gonna see. And that's how I like to do it. People say to me, oh, why, why don't you cut out um, power lines and things like that out of your videos and your photos. Like, well, because I'm doing it for history. History has to be a true representation in my my theory, anyway, of what I'm seeing. Like, if you're standing at a particular location at a particular time, and that's what you see, 
Well, that's what you should be capturing in photos. Not cutting out and removing the things that you think don't look nice. Like an old power line or something, or a power pole or whatever. It's, it's really not a true representation if you take that out. So that's one of the main reasons why I don't do that stuff. You know? It's got to be what it is. You know? As it actually is. So. Anyway, we'll zoom back out once we get around this corner. Once we've seen the majority of the thing, so the picture quality will go back to normal. It's a little bit better. So, no. 6 kilometers. I missed getting it up near the microphone. I want to know that for my looking back and everything too, so yeah. Coming up on Corello's Palm Swamp up here, a little bit further up. Yeah, I've been across it before, so I'm not going to make the effort to cross the road and go and show it because I've shown it many times. In photos and video. Yeah, the white line's gone from here. You can see where it was. Biosecurity area. But yeah, you look up there and it's just beautiful scenery. Above those sheds and that. Absolutely beautiful. If you have a diving along, pull over and have a look from here. About this spot, where it's safe to. Just have a quick look. Don't drive along and cause an accident, but if you're in... The if you're in a car and someone else is driving, yeah, it's worth having a look. All the cows on there. Beautiful. Right, I'm just going to zoom back out. I didn't get a photo while I'm here. photos yeah. surprising how many vehicles come along here back where we just came from just up here another vehicle coming well, it's not surprising to me how many vehicles have come along here many times. Yeah, you know, if you're driving around and you see me doing video, you know, feel free to say hello, wave, honk the horn if you want to. Yeah, you know, not aggressively, of course. Be friendly and be nice. Had people yell out some very nasty stuff over the years when I'm not doing anything wrong. Had people tell me off like full on. I'm not even showing them in video. Just some people to take it upon themselves. I don't go to where they do stuff. Any recreational stuff and tell them off. But anyway, that's how some people are. And whatever. As a chappy once said to me, like water off a duck's back. Like water off a duck's back. Yeah, it's annoying, but yeah. Whatever, you don't know what, what their day has been like, what they're going through. Not nice to take it out on other people, but you know, some people do. They just don't have the decency to be nice. Like, oh, he's out getting video, showing the town, promoting it, capturing history, all that sort of stuff. Oh, we should be nice to him. No, they just, yeah. instead of coming and asking me nicely what I'm doing, Nice tone and all that, they just, yeah, yell out stuff. Used to be an Asian chappy that would drive around yelling out stuff out his window. Couldn't understand him, but he was quite nasty, his voice. Plovers. But, um, 
yeah, and he'd turn up in random places when I was scooter riding or walking. I tell, I'd think to myself, oh, I'll go a weird way, see if it pops up. Sure enough, yeah, he'd pop up. Random as spot, like he was following me around. It was really, really nasty sounding. Fist out the window, you know, all this stuff. So, yeah, I've had to deal with a lot. I'm not the type to give up, but it's really annoying. There's only so much you can handle. And yeah, no matter how calm sort of person you are, how calm your demeanor is. Like I've put up with a lot in my life, so I can deal with a lot more than a lot of people. Doesn't mean I necessarily like it, but yeah. So, this is where the dog sometimes comes out. And buy bananas over there where the white car is. Pretty sure that still has it there. You can see the stall there, but I don't know if it still has stuff in it. We'll just go straight ahead and whatever shows, shows like we do. Yeah, and buy bananas there still. Cool. There's your Corello's Palm Swamp will show up on this side. Well, that's Palm Swamp. You see, it needs a good fixing up, as you can see. But yeah, there's your Corellos. I'm assuming it's the same Corellos that used to have the MP. It's up to do with them, Imperial Tavern. As you can see, the, the palms there. I don't know if they were planted there or just natural. You can see the beautiful rolling hills up there. If the sun was out more, you'd see it better. Anyway, straight ahead again. These are these houses. And all that, all good. I've reached my goal off the steps. Phones just let me know. My watch, I mean. Oh, no. Every walk, I, I beat the 10,000 steps. First goal is 5,000, and the second goal set is 10,000. That's alerted me for the five, I think. Unless I missed it earlier. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting up to the part that it's not the nicest to walk. Going past 359, five point road. Just for reference of where this is. Look back where we just came from, towards the swamp. Palm swamp. Some people are friendly and wave, some people just don't. I like the chunky fence, it's cool. You got a chunky fence. Bit of water flowing through there. There are you know, slight rapids in that. Don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but I can see it. Hopefully the camera's showing it. Okay. Wow, those flowers are nice. Got a couple of photos on them. I know they're wild flowers or what. They look like Bird of Paradise, but different colour. And then your stereotypical one. Yeah. I wonder if anyone knows. Please let me know in the comments. Wow. Really nice, nice colouring in that, like a yellow, and then the red. Yeah, they usually, I miss the orange and red. Like them. Along. There's an outthrough road here. I've never gone. I don't think I've ever gone down there. The street sign's been taken off there, knocked off, or whatever. So I couldn't tell you what it is at the moment. I could look it up, but yeah, just want to get out there. So this is Eaton. This is the suburb of Eaton. E T A. Uh, e T O N, sorry. E T O N. Yeah, yeah some more beautiful scenery. Five is Point State School sign. I, I don't think I've ever seen that out here. That's new. New since I last come out. It's probably been here a while since I last walked out here. 
noticing more details. Suburb of Eaton sign. I don't even know why this even has a suburb. Suburb name, but anyway, that's all good. But it works. There's your rolling hills and such. Yeah, it's here where you don't have the anything past the white line. Sometimes it's not even a white line. It's not the best. So you're always going to keep an eye out. If you have a walk out here, yeah, always keep an eye out for snakes and bandicoots, rats, cassowaries, um, kangaroos, wallabies, all that type of stuff. You like to see that stuff along here. Nice that some people go right out, so there's no chance of hitting you. I appreciate that. You're one of those people, thank you. Some, some try to scare you by coming right up close. Definitely there's a car coming the opposite direction, but a lot of them will do the right thing. I've had ones when I was scootering out here doing the right thing, and was about a centimetre off getting hit by a ute with a boat. And they had room to move over a little bit. I didn't. Yeah. I would have ended up in the ditch. So, yeah, it wasn't safe. On my e-scooter. There's some beautiful scenery along here, like up there. I like a good tree canopy. You'll notice that in my videos. When I see a good tree canopy, I like to show it. Try to represent it as best I can. What I can see. SGV. Fiberglass repair. It's named Steve. Oh, yeah. Fiberglass place. Just for history, mentioning it. I don't know when it stops being eaten. Probably when it gets to the coconuts. So we've eaten. Yeah. I haven't eaten out here before. Not in eaten. Haven't eaten in eaten. <laughs> Gotta play on words. If you know me, you know I like to play on words, harmlessly. Well, that's all polluted, but the water flowing through there. Little babbling brook. A reference to that babbling brook. There's a reference, if you know, you know. Um, Confidence is key. Confidence is key, Brookie. If you know, you know. I like to put in some little little nuggets of information that if you know, you know if you're a friend of mine, a proper friend of mine, you'd know the references. It's just little Easter egg things put in. Nuggets of information that you might catch on, might not, might not. It's all harmless. There's the sun's right out. Yeah, look at this beautiful scenery. Let's take a second to have a look at this. Absolutely beautiful scenery here. Sorry if this is your land, but it's ridiculously beautiful along here. Electric fence. Yeah, there's eating removal or something up here somewhere. But I've seen signs for up here and I've seen the trucks going around. It smells like a dead animal, this spot, which it probably is. So, I think it's someone's driveway. There's a sign there, but you can't read it. It's got auto, I think it's got auto something written on there. Auto electrician? I'm not too sure. It's auto something. It's hard to read. Anyway, who knows? I'm sure the people know whose place it is. They get a lot of animals along here. The places. Heard it go in is pretty big ones coming across here. Around here. At night. A friend of mine that comes along here regularly has said it. Yeah, it's not a place to walk at night. No, I wouldn't do it. You know, sorry. Maybe getting up to where that eat and removal us or whatever it is. It's on the right hand side. Coming up.
Hopefully we don't come across the castle area. completed. Duration 1 hour 29 minutes 45 seconds. 9,761 steps. Nearly 10. We didn't even steep driveway. Oh, wouldn't want to walk up and down it. Good exercise though, if you're fit enough. Jog up and down it. So if you any breathing that you hear, it comes with the territory of walking this sort of distance. Yeah, I'll re show you the eating sign up here in this business, just for history. It's not a sponsored video. No, I'm not lucky enough to be sponsored by companies, even locals, you know, giving me a chance. What I have to do. Yeah, you know, some people say here, here's where there's nothing past the white line, there's not even a white line. This is what I mean. Walking along where they could have a footpath right along here. Yeah, you know, if a car comes along, I've got to go off on that. It's not nice, I'll tell you that. Yeah, eating equipment higher. Is that what it's called? But yeah, if a company, a local company wants to sponsor me, then they can, I can just put that as a sponsor video. They can either pay me or offer me a gift card to their business or whatever. I could say Harvey Norman or whatever. Yeah, that'd be great. I just mentioned the company in the video that it's sponsored by blah, 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 a company. That'd be awesome to be able to do that. Be nice to be sponsored and cover cover costs. See, you look here, you go off the road too much and it's just gully and just horrible. That's why, that's what I'm saying, like, they could put in a decent footpath level and nice along here because you don't want to fall down there. No, it would. Definitely wouldn't want to fall in there. Like, I rush past this, all this as fast as I can. So, until I get to a spot where it's safer, and let the cars go past, and then to a final long. Yeah, you can see what I mean, though, how horrible it is. Even for like cyclists and that, it's quite bumpy. Look at how jagged it is on the edge, and that, how ragged and bumpy. Yeah, but there's plenty of room for footpath if they leveled it and did it properly. A proper cement footpath, not one that's just going to wear away because it's just sort of um, way of doing it. It's a lot of swampy stuff through there. You can see water in there. Probably not showing up on video, but it's there. Nevertheless, the camera's starting to get warm. And posty. Yeah, some people are nice enough to wave. Some people just look at you like, ugh. Right, look at him, he's got a camera. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. It's another beautiful day in paradise. Which it is. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, very humid though. Like I said before, like 97% humidity when I checked it earlier, when I started the video. Yeah. It's a hike, but I I don't mind doing it. I just wish it was safer. Yeah. Yep. Another vehicle. Some wave if you wave to them, some don't. Some just automatically wave and you wave back to them. If you wave and I don't see you and I don't wave back, sometimes it's because of tinted windows. No, I just don't see it. Can't see in there. Or I'm too busy focused on where I'm walking, what I'm trying to show. So if you ever wave to me and I don't, don't wave back, it's not intentional. Because I am the type with manners that likes to wave back. If people are good enough to wave, well, I'm going to do it back. I'll give you a nod if I'm in the middle of doing something, or the old you know. Here, just up here is where 
the boat guy come along. The guy with the boat and that. Yeah, it was horrible. What is this road? It comes off here. It smells here. Oh, is that? K N O R R E S, I think it says. It's a little bit covered over with mold and that. Like Norse Hill. K N O R R E S Hill Road. I've never been down there. I'd love to go down there in someone's car and record it. Just to show us down there. Just gonna wipe the camera because it might have a bit of stuff on there and starting to. Well, it's not handling the humidity. I've got to buy a filter for it. If anyone wants to donate to help towards better equipment so I can do this better, cover my costs, or help towards it, feel free to check the PayPal link in the description. We use the, use the super thanks button. That'd be great. Super thanks button, super thanks button is usually, um, beautiful tree canopy. It's usually a love heart with a dollar sign in it. Yeah, see here, but there's no white line and just bump onto the, onto the slush, it's dangerous. We're getting close to the bridge near the coconuts, so it'll get better a bit further. And the friend I'm going out to visit, she said that they've cleaned one of the pathways. I don't know which pathway she was talking about out here where it's been cleaned so we'll show that do you want to just hunt down one see if anyone's coming behind because like i said this is the horrible part this is the worst part probably the worst part this little bit here as you can see like all the cars are coming the other direction at the moment so i'm safe to stay up here because that could be slippery on that angle you may not see the angle in the video but there's a bit of an angle there oh, let's check and see the microphone still there hasn't fallen off it's normally pretty good now yeah, once i get past the 40 sign up here with the arrow showing the band it's fine as you can see down there how horrible it is. Car coming this way, of course. I'll get off and just stand here. Let them go. Yeah, they didn't move over a little, at all. Not safe. Another reason why the council really needs to do, do a footpath out here. Hopefully, with the new council, and her trying to get a lot of um, people liking her and a good reputation, then you know, she might seek um, state government funding or something, infrastructure for road infrastructure and all that stuff, and get something done about it. I mean, I'm not gonna go on about that Castle Weary Bridge between Ennisville and Tully, but spending that much on it they could have easily done this full path no worries at all would have been a lot better another car coming so I better go off to the side as I do where it's safe to my wave Like I said, I really appreciate the people that move across when they, when they can, when it's safe to give you room, make it cyclist room and whatever. Right. Yeah, some people just look at you like, you know, like you're a piece of rubbish. Anyway, I'm not out here to gain brownie points with anybody. I'm out here to show history. So you can look back. Imagine looking back in 20, 30, 40 years time and seeing how different it is. I mean, out here might still look fairly much the same on the way out to here. 
but a lot of other places like buildings and shops and that'd be like oh, i remember that shop i'd forgotten that shop even existed far out yeah it's like wow that's where that shop was i was trying to think where that shop was and you're watching back the video i'm like oh i didn't know that shop was even there you know there's stuff like that ah freshwater creek yes and then the coconut sign so we'll show the freshwater creek sign Tell you what, this camera with the external battery, the extra battery, you can buy separate or you can get in a pack. I got the kit version that has it, and I've got a spare battery. It makes a huge difference. It doubles the battery life, basically. Freshwater Creek, I'll show you that. There's no way really to get off here. Now I can. Yeah, see, that's the thing here, and it's all slush away from the go past. Do the right thing. And she was mouthing off something yeah, well, good on you not everyone has has the opportunity or the health and that to work and have a car and all that you know got to do what i got to do to get where i got to go and what i want to do see that moved out of the way that was great There's your freshwater creek it's flowing pretty full on but yeah, yeah, I think pretty sure that woman was mouthing off in that other vehicle. She coconut sign, the new one, Mamu Country, or Mamu, as they say now. I don't know why they changed it. It was Mamu for years, now they're saying Mamu. So anyway, whatever. Whatever works. Oh, I was going to go across and show the other side, but there's too many vehicles both sides. Not going to happen. Showing it other time, so it's all good. All good, but yeah, not everyone's had it had it easy and can, you know, do the seven day a week work or six day, five day, whatever. If you don't know people's situations, it's best not to not to judge people. You know, I get out and do these when I can. My health's nowhere near one hundred percent. Fern Avenue, FERN, boat ramp, boat hire, slipway. Apparently we're on Palm Avenue now, this part's Palm Avenue, not Flying Point Road, going by the sign. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so I don't worry with me. I just do what I do. I love what I do. Yes, it gets hot. Yes, sometimes I wish I could get in a car and just go to a location, record it, and get back in the car, go to the next location, record it. Instead of walking 20 kilometers to get to a location and doing a 20 or 10 kilometer walk, then having to go back and come home. Round trip is sometimes like 50, 60 kilometers. It has happened. But it's worth it. Like I say, you know, looking back at these, I can't wait to look back at these videos years later. Even when I look at my earlier videos that were from my old channel, the old channel that got done over. I hear people talking. I don't know. Completed. Duration one hour forty three minutes two seconds. Eleven thousand two hundred twenty nine steps. In Whitehall Avenue. Um, yes, it would be nice to be able to just jump in an air conditioned vehicle, go from an air conditioned house to an air conditioned vehicle, and do the videos. But you know, I'm not complaining. Just how yeah, you know, life is. I don't give up. You know, sometimes I get a bit, oh, it's too hot, it's too wet. But I push myself a lot. I'm one of those people, you know, I don't believe in giving up. I do what I can when I can. Sometimes there's weeks in between videos because of the rain or just too hot for my house to handle. Because sometimes if I go out when it's too hot, you know, I ruin for a few weeks later. So it's best to you know, do the right thing and then just relax. But I'm always like, oh, I want to go and get video of this and get video of that. You know, I'm that person. Yeah. Or you know, someone will let me know that something's happening in town, like something's getting knocked down. They've started to knock down the, where Bedrock used to be. The lady who told me that I really appreciate when they knocked the, the house and the flats down. 
beside it in Lolly Street. It was nice of her to let me know because I can't just walk in for the sake of it and hope for the best and see if anything's happening because it's just you know, too much sometimes. So if you ever see anything like that that's in walking distance from town, yeah, please let me know. Like my friend did let me know that the, that house was starting to be moved down next to the PCYC. Now it's completely gone and there's only concrete there now. I've got to go and get a photo of the land just blank with just the, um, well it's not this footpath they've done up, um, yeah with just the concrete slab there now and grass on the driveway. There's no like stairs or any of that sort of stuff there that was there before. Any rubble, burning rubble. So, yeah, I don't think she meant this footpath. No. Probably the footpath near, it could be the footpath near the caravan park that she was talking about, or along the, where the, where it's right up against all the mangroves and that, past the bridge up here. Could be there. Well, we'll find out. We'll wait and see. You've got the road to the left. Residential to the right. This could do with a good clean, just for slippery wise. The condition is not too bad. This could do with a bit good pressure wash. I'll take a quick photo and send it to my friend. Just got a bit of an idea of where I am on the trek. Ah, kangaroo paw. Sent a photo to her and she said, oh, lovely kangaroo paw. There you go, Tell, tells me what it is. Yeah, very nice, has flowers before. Anyway, we'll continue along here. <laughs> See my lobby's along here before. And Castle, where he's not driven past in my friend's car. As a passenger, I looked over and went, oh, Cassowary. <laughs> And you often read on Facebook of cassowaries. People saying, oh, there's a cassowary near this place and that. Along here. This is Bay Road. Nice house to my right. Can't show it across. It's public access. I can show the public access up here. But it's next to someone's house. Makes it hard. They should be fenced off the public access. The, the security pin anyway. Right near the 60 sign. I wonder if the tide's in. It's hard to tell from here. Pedestrian traffic only. Public access down there. In between two houses. Yeah, it smells a little bit here too. I think a lot of people dump their rubbish in there and they're not meant, really meant to. Anyway, nice garden to my right. Yeah, I wish I could show some of it, but you can't. Whatever shows to the side of the video shows. I've got the camera facing directly straight ahead. I'll look back where we just came from. Okay. So we've been recording for 74 minutes so far. So I'll probably get to about 90 or, or even further by the time I finish. I'll finish just up from the caravan park. And Very nice garden there too, nice house too. Beautiful house. Point State School sign up here to my left on the other side of the road. Some nice flowers here. I've shown these before. They're, I think they're weeds, but they're really nice flowers nonetheless. On them, oh, like a lizard or something. I like the way the camera like, focuses on them really good, it blurs the background. I know I'm safe to get it close up, and it'll. Auto focus onto it. Now take a quick photo. 
faktiskt varje år. Den är du får på efter. Gör det. Nice. Ja, yeah, we always like to see the beauty around us, isn't it? Don't know why. Catch those things, see the beauty around us. Because there's a lot of beautiful things around, you just gotta look for it. You know, if you go for a walk, look around at the nice flowers and the nice trees, the nice scenery, beautiful buildings, the old art deco stuff and the whatever. It's always nice. Wait for this car. See if they wave me across or they just keep going. Let's get my little wave. I don't think it waved back, but anyway, it's their own. I don't know. I always like to promote manners, respect. You see on some of my videos, I put the things like explore respect and things like that and I mean it they're not just they're not catchphrases just to put on there for the sake of it I do believe in respect looking after where we live keeping it clean not throwing stuff out of a window of a car and all this go to a bin keep it keep a bag in your car put it in there <coughs> go to the nearest bin I know there's not as many bins as there used to be hopefully this new Mayor will sort that out. I can't remember her first name, but yeah. Yeah, she played this point the sign up, school sign on the other on the left. But yeah, hopefully she sorts out the bins. Puts them back, gets them put back. Hopefully they kept the bins somewhere. In like the council works department and then they can just reinstall them. I know it cost a bit. You can blame the council on Mark No one and so on for that. But anyway, we're not a political channel. I am not into politics, but I just, uh, you know, walking around, I see a lot of things that need to be fixed, that should be fixed. And, uh, and as a resident, I know there's, you know, the bins really need to be put back. It's ridiculous. You know, getting rid of like 40 bins and replacing it with like two sort of thing is a bit crazy. And people complain there's rubbish everywhere in places. Yeah. That's a lot of people won't walk the extra mile. No. Used to do about three or four bins on my way home from town. And now there's one at the bus stop. And if you cross the road, you can go the one near the mobile. That's it. So I just walk home with my stuff. I'm not one to throw it on the ground. I don't believe in that at all. But anyway, you can see that this isn't the one my friend was talking about. It's perfectly fine. It doesn't need to good pressure wash regularly. If they can do it, we twice a year, with all the rain we get in that, it would help. Whew. Working on that house up there. Really nice looking house. Very steep driveway. You want to have good brakes. Up there. I think the rain's coming back, but I should be fine. As long as I can get to near the um, Flavors Point Cafe and go down the cover. Wait for the rain to die down and then go again. So. to see a castle area. I don't really want to go anywhere near one of course but just uh, you know, I remember one day I was going down towards Rune nursing home and there was a peacock on the someone's um, roof of their shed the carport I think it was and I got it on video a little bit I was like far out like I'd seen them around in the street over the streets over there like on people's um, grass and that in the yard but I hadn't seen it on up that high before. 
So I didn't know whether they could fly or not. Peacocks. Yeah. I wish I'd have shown its feathers and all that out. Plumage, whatever you want to call it. I think that's the name. Don't quote me on it. But yeah. That would be pretty cool, but yeah. A different thing to see. For sale by owner, absolute beachfront. Yeah, with a million trees in the way. <laughs> and things are just overgrown. Yeah. One day there might be houses there. Or, or a house. That is a big tower. There's like a water tank plus the Telstra Tower up there. I'd love to go up there in a car again and get some video. Since I've been doing these videos and photos and stuff, I haven't got the opportunity to go up there. I mentioned it to a friend of mine when we drove out here one day. And uh, he didn't want to go up there. So, we didn't. Simple as that. <sighs> oh, there's some sparrows. Like I showed photos of sparrows the other day on my old new one as well photos on Facebook but there was like heaps of them all right next to each other on a power line near the mobile service station if you want to have a look at that it's on Facebook yeah, you'll see it it was in yesterday's uh, album so what's, what's the day yesterday the 4th I think yeah the 4th Thursday the 4th of April 2024 that album you'll see that they're all so close to each other yeah, it was very cool to see. Nine kilometers. Duration one hour fifty five minutes. Twelve thousand six hundred thirty six steps. Up here used to be pretty overgrown onto the footpath when I'd come along on the scooter. I'd have to go out on the road to bypass it. It looks like it's been cut back. Yeah, the way some people drive along here, don't really want to be going on the road. Nice flowers just here to my right. And we're nearly at the bridge. So we're not too far off flying fish. The part where I think they should really put a guardrail. That first um, big corner there, not from here, but from the five-inch point end if you're coming this way, where you can see the beach and that, where you can go, turn to go down to the boat ramp and all that. No. Another thing down there, or you can um, just keep going out this way. Yeah, that part there really needs a good thing. Car park there, people fish here. I don't know there's someone behind me walking. Could be footsteps, but nah. You do get crocodiles along here. Another reason why you know, you're crazy careful. Yeah. Across this bridge. Come. It feels a bit bouncy sometimes, this bridge. It's not a suspension bridge by any means, but it just feels it because of the material it's made of. Someone else pulling in over there. Where that car was. Oh, yes. You can see where the old bridge was. But the stuff's still there from it. Yeah, fast. Because this flows out to the ocean. Yeah, you can see it in my video where I walked from Flyfish Point to the coconuts. On the, on the beachfront, and I showed where it go, comes through. Yeah, it's flying pretty far. Yeah, so I think people come through there to do other stuff. That's not, not on the up and up, but anyway, I'm not saying those people are. They might be fishing somewhere, but there is tracks further down when you walk through where that car is. I've never been through there, I wouldn't. No, not the best thing. Anyway, this is the other part where I thought she might have meant the pathway. Yeah, you can see 
like the river or the ocean is, and that's there. This is Holden Way, Holden as in the same spelling as the old car company, H-O-L-D-E-N. That's the same spelling. Yeah, Holden Way. Looks like a fairly new sign, or oh, they've done it up. It's been repainted. I think a lot of them need to be repainted around. Yeah, here's pretty horrible to walk on. Wait for this car to pass and I'll take a photo. A lot of these photos, if they turn out good, I'll put them on the end of the video. So feel free to have a look. This is the worst spot to walk along. See through there, you can see the mangroves and that. On the scooter, it was a weird angle for the drainage and that. I get why it's like that, but it's yeah, not nice. Yeah. Like I said, we'll find out when it's clean, whether they've done it up or whatever. And smell the mud and all that. Yeah, I've looked through here before. I've never seen a crocodile through here, but it, I know there definitely has been sightings, photos taken and stuff. So, it'd be quite cool. Oh, you can see where they've cut things back. Yeah, that might be what she meant. They've cut a bit back. Yeah. So, I know last time we had a bit of flooding, it did flood across a bit further up. Trees fell down and whatever. And they had the high tide and all that. It was last month in March. Yeah, it's April already. Wow. The year's going fast. Next thing you know, it'll be May, then June, and July. Yeah, before you know it. Yeah, you see, it gets quite slippery along here because the tide it just gets a lot wetter. You're basically right on the coast here. <laughs> the coastline. Right. So glad my friend didn't say no. Walk out here and just sit around for a while and then go home. How much fun. She's got air conditioning, which I really appreciate. She usually makes sure it's on for me. I appreciate that, big time. Big shout out to her for that. That sort of area reminds me of Les Stroud and Malcolm Douglas walking through stuff like that. Les Stroud, the Bush Tucker Man, and Malcolm Douglas, well, most people know who he was. Rest in peace. He was great, he was classic to watch. So a lot of Malcolm Douglas videos, like his show, The World Around Us and that, on um, on YouTube if you want to look him up, see like Bush Tucker stuff. And Les Stroud stuff's on there too, Bush Tucker Man. Yeah, Les Stroud. And that other guy, I can't think of his name. He got dropped off somewhere random. It's been copied, the concept's been copied ridiculously. But, he was the original, yeah. He'd get dropped off somewhere. And uh, sometimes, not just in Australia, or any place, and he has to make it back to his camera people, or to the helicopter, within a certain amount of time. They only give him a couple of things to live off. He's got to you know, get his own food and all this stuff. He's pretty cool, I can't think of his name. I don't think he wasn't the Bush Tucker man, I don't think. Oh, I should know his name. Anyway. Yeah, I wonder if she meant this part along here. Guess we'll find out. Well, I'll find out. If we see another part that's all done up, then we'll know. 
that's the other one. New, new. A lot of spider webs and stuff along here. Like creepy looking spiders. Yeah, this corner up here, I think, really, really needs to have some sort of really good guardrail. A lot of people call it a dead man's curve and different other names. Yeah, it's horrible. It'd be a horrible place to slide off and go into the ocean or onto the beach. Anyway, getting close to the beach now. We'll be able to see the beach in the video. Yeah. So how long have I been recording for? 91 minutes. This might end up a two hour video. That's no, all good. As long as I've got the capacity to be able to edit it and all that. There's the ocean through there. Should better see it now. Bit of a pathway through, but we'll have to cross over just here for safety reasons. The way people drive back where we just came from. Caution Castle sign. Yeah, let's cross over that house there, would have a beautiful view, unless the trees block it. From the corner there would be an amazing view. Wow. That'd be an awesome place to set up a time lapse camera. Yeah, set up a time lapse or when there's like a storm rolling in, get video, with lightning, thunder and all that. That would be phenomenal there. Yeah. The ocean over there, but this is where I say where these arrows are. This should put the guard guardrail in. I think they'd better get funding from the government for it, local, the state government or the federal. I don't know, I'm not up on all that. Across the coquette point sort of direction. Over there, there's your coconuts where we, we sort of bypassed before. We didn't go down to the beach because I've shown that many times. Yeah, it's Maria Street, the one we do. It's really good to go right at the top. So we're nearly up to Elizabeth Street. That's Alice Street, and that goes down to the boat ramp. Bit of a park, public toilets, and CWA. CWA Hall and Cottages. Car now this way is Caravan Park. Five Point Cafe and Elizabeth Street. Now it's Elizabeth Street. There we go. The Maria Street's the one to go up if you wanna. Have a really good look up there. There was a half made house when I went up there. We could go in and just see the view. You can see how steep that is. It probably doesn't show up on video properly. Uh, it's not, it's too steep for me to walk it. I'm not gonna do it. But if anyone I know wants to take me up there sometime, that'd be great. They give me enough time to even get a time lapse. Well, there's back towards the ocean anyway. Nice. Now the battery's just starting to go down on the camera, so we'll make it to where I want to get to. Caravan Park area. It's slippery here, so walk a little bit slower. the payphone and the uh, playground over there. Be careful, we have found glass over there. We're taking my friends home down there to play. So definitely worth having shoes on. It's also be careful for school, school traffic and kids and stuff. Because there is a school out here, Flying Fish Point State School. So be aware of that too, this is Shoe Park. To my right, I'm um, the playground in that. Oh, they've put a um, shade cloth on there, wasn't there last time? 
Excellent. Needed it. Another flying fish point state school sign. Wow. They really push it. There's that old house that's been there forever. I've actually seen that in very old photos of the beach. Yeah. It's there. Yeah, I think they've done a bit more to this playground since I last come and seen it. But I reported that tail strip it thing and they just put a thing around it and just left it there. They haven't done anything. So I look at the storm storm clouds rolling in. I have to get a some photos of that. You can see it there with the rays of the sun. Yeah, this would be one of the spots. The bee if there's a storm to get video. Whew. Not quite warm. Get the horizon leveled. Which these phones had horizon leveling built in. to my friend so she knows where I am. So she has a bit of an idea where I am. Might actually stop up here for a sec and have some of my drink. Yeah, Fish Point Cafe open seven days. Usually, I'd go up to here, but uh, a little overgrown. So I go sit up there and have my drink. There's a good, good mow along here. I go up to the next one along. William Street up there, we go down to go to the school. To my left. That's two. I think I might go to the bus stop. Just quickly stop there and get it out. I've been down past the school. Ten kilometers. Duration two hours, nine minutes, thirty six seconds. Fourteen thousand one hundred eleven. Remember there used to be a half court basketball court along here? Yeah, remember years ago there was. I thought it was that barbecue was. That was one. But anyway, I'm going to get my drink out so I'll stop the video for now and I'll be back on when I'm finished. And back on our merry way. The usual Elizabeth Street near William Street. The stuff for the bus stop. You get a bit of an idea. Bus signs and stuff here. In the map. Feel free to pause to have a look. So basically, I walked from around here, down, donk, donk, no, around there, out, donk, and along. And I'm out. Doesn't say you are here. But anyway, it's all good. Continue along, there's your little bus stop. Street it goes to the end of the school. We're not going to get down that way. You stay on this side and mows you on down. There's some nice houses through there, really nice. Oh, oh. don't get the camera to be sharp properly. Anyway, continue along. My stuff's empty. you here before. I've only seen it before and when it was 
clear away so I never saw it all well, um, yeah. sad that it happened across I don't know exactly where it was might have been here not too sure well, when I was told about it they said on the corner of Bloom Street but it's not anyway lovers I'll be glad to get this bag off and put my stuff in it not to worry about this bag like I said with my shoulders Ibis there's Worth Park W-O-R-T-H across there to my right across the road what might have been here where these are for sale you got Adler's and and Campbell real estate Good to show the, the old signage because you never know one day could be gone. It's got Bradley Tate on the on the Alders one. Bradley with no E, not L E Y. There's your ocean through there. I've taken time notices through there before. In the past. <coughs> Pardon me. It's a beautiful range of penny tree here. Beautiful and it's um, in flower. Yeah, really nice. Keep an eye out for it when it's flowering. Absolutely stunning. Good tree canopy too. You walk past and it's like that. See, like the staghorn or whatever they call them. I don't know if anyone knows the name of that. It's crafted on there. Let us know. I know you hear people call things things. It doesn't mean it's a proper name. Public access. Another one of those. Elizabeth Street signage. Edward Street. In the Caravan Park. We're going to walk along the Caravan Park and stop at the end of it. Down on Elizabeth Street. So there's Edward Street. Clive Point Tourist Park. Signage. We'll show the signage. They used to have signs out here for Mrs. Max Pies and stuff. Back in the day, it was nice to see. All right, get a photo of the new signage on here. Like I'll probably put a lot of this on the end of the video, but I'll also put them on older new and well photos on Facebook. So if you want to have a better look, have a look on there. Feel free to join. We're we'll back on Elizabeth Street. Bit of a day in there. Anyway, this is the best time keeping the memories alive for us and future generations to see what it was like. Hope you enjoyed the walk, enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to press like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want to donate to the channel, there's a PayPal link in the description, or you can donate via the Super Thanks button. Anywhere up to, I think it's about 500 Australian dollars. Donate via the Super Thanks PayPal, any amount. Uh, feel free tell all your friends about the about the channel and about the old and new inner swell photos on facebook check all that out feel free to definitely comment always like some nice positive comments anything underwater as they say will be deleted any swearing sexual references any bullying on the Facebook group or on the YouTube channel comments will be deleted. The old putt putt mini golf at the um, caravan park. Don't know if it ever gets used, but it's there. It's very basic, but yeah, it's there. But anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Appreciate every single view, every single like, every single comment, subscription, all that. Stay safe, stay cool, and we'll catch you in the next one.